If you're an Amazon seller that wants to run a messenger bot campaign that's going to rebate customers and give away a free product, then you're gonna wanna stick around and keep watching this video because in this video, I'm about to show you a messenger bot flow that I personally set up that is going to automate the order verification process and then it is going to give them a promo code to go ahead and get 100% off um, a product of their, uh, actually no, we only assigned one product that they can get for free. So basically they can get this free item after we verify their order. So let's go ahead and just jump into this flow. So just real quick background on this whole messenger bot campaign is that we uh, the purchase is first happening on Amazon, then we are importing that Amazon customer data into Facebook and we're targeting those Amazon customers with Facebook ads. Now the ad that they are gonna see is gonna say, hey, get this product for free. It's gonna show a picture of the product. They're gonna click on that and then it's going to send them a message. Now I'll go ahead and show you what that message looks like here in the flow. So this is the message that they're gonna get right here. It's gonna say, hi, do you wanna get a free gift as a massive thank you for purchasing from our Amazon store? Click below to reply and uh, jump into it. So I always tell people, click below to reply. You know, you see this all the time that people will type in, yeah, I'm ready, let's go. Well, you gotta be very, very clear capitalize it, put it in all caps if you need to, they need to click below to reply and actually take the next steps. So that is the first message. This is a JSON grill tool inside ManyChat. And I always like to keep the JSONs very simple and basic, just one button, because once they click on that, it's gonna then open up the flow. Now, instead of putting everything inside the JSON, again, I keep it basic and the reason is because if you ever wanna change your JSON message, you will then have to relink that code with your Facebook ad. Um, if you made a change right here and you didn't link it back up with your Facebook ad, you will have issues. You then need to, any change that you want to actually make on the mini chat side and then have it work in Facebook, you have to then update that code, which means you potentially lose your social proof on the Facebook ad when you change out that code. So. Keep your JSON growth tool as simple as possible. Just have it, have them click a button. I always make it confirmational, like saying, hey, did you wanna do X, Y, Z? They click on yes, starts the flow, and then in the flow is where I have everything built out, and it's easy to make changes there because I don't have to then update the actual JSON code. So here is the actual flow right here. I'll zoom out so you can see all the goods. It's right there, right? Um, okay, so the first thing that it starts with is a condition. Now the reason for this condition is because we wanna first make sure that they are not going through this like 20 times and getting free products 20 times or sharing uh, the promo. So we've got um, fail safes uh, in place with this messenger bot to ensure that we're not getting screwed over, that they're not sharing this with their friends and then their friends can just easily go in there and get a free product as well. So I'll show you some of the really cool fail safes in here. Um, be sure to hit the thumbs up button on this video. Leave a comment down below if you get value from this video, if it helps you in any way. And if you want to reach out to me and book a call with me and you want me to set up a mini chat messenger bot flow just like this, then head over to evolvemedia.agency, hit the done for you services page and book a call with me and then we can talk about your business, what products you sell and how we can get one of these free product rebate flows set up for your Amazon business. Uh, our pricing is actually a lot lower than a lot of people think they see this high production value and they think that we're expensive and no we're very affordable okay so if you want to book a call with me i'm very reachable easy to talk to but let's go ahead and continue on so it starts with a condition the condition is going to first see if they are tagged with claiming this free gift if they are already tagged as claimed a free gift then we're going to send them this message right here right here that says oops sorry Looks like you've already gotten our free gift. It's for first time customers only. Get the F out. You know, um, basically it's just saying, look, you, you already got it, okay, leave. <laughs> um, so if they have not gotten it and the tag is not there, then they will receive the good flow, which is right here. It says, awesome, let me verify your Amazon purchase before I give you the promo code to get your free gift. Now, what we already set up is we set up like 3,000 unique promo codes to um, 
only work for one product. So we selected which product we want in our store. We created 3000 promo codes. That promo code is a fixed cost discount in Shopify. So it's just gonna take off like $13 from their order if they have product A in their cart. Now they can still add multiple products and then have product A and then let's say their total was 50 bucks, it'll subtract out that $13 for that one free product that we allowed them to have. So anyway, right now in this part of the message flow, it is just order verifying. Um, they're gonna basically submit their Amazon order ID. So it says, um, I'll need your Amazon order ID. Go ahead and find it in this section over here and then paste your order ID in right here. Please only enter the Amazon order ID. It's a 17 digit number. So they go ahead and just put in the order ID. Then what happens, some real cool magic happens now is we have linked um, ManyChat with the Amazon seller account using a third party tool called Seller Tools, seller.tools. It's a really awesome software. Um, we use Seller Tools and Pixelfy for a lot of our clients. So I highly recommend signing up with Seller Tools. I believe you can get like 10% off with Seller Tools if you use the, the promo code TAKE10 OFF. TAKE10 OFF will get you 10% off of Seller Tools. But anyway, what happens is an API call, uh, they, they give us their Amazon order ID, that gets sent over to Seller Tools. Seller Tools is connected with their Seller Central account. It compares that order ID with all their different Amazon order IDs. And if it sees a match, like, yeah, the order ID that they submitted is legit and it works, then they will get this. So all this messages right here is just crazy code stuff. I'm not gonna explain the small details of how we set this up because it's pretty complex and it would take like hours to show you how we actually set up the freaking API call. It's, it was challenging, let me just tell you that. So um, so anyway, goes through this throttling message, smart conditions, all that kind of stuff. And then it's either going to say, thanks, I verified your order. Now let's get you that 100% off promo code. Or if the order ID that they gave us does not work and they lied to us, no, I'm just kidding. Maybe they typed it wrong. Maybe they changed the number or whatever. Uh, then it's gonna say, oh no, it looks like we couldn't verify your order. Would you mind sending your order ID again just to make sure it's correct? So they put it in there again, it runs the calculations, sends it to seller tools, gets the order verification. If it works the second time, then they're gonna receive this message right here that says, thanks first name, I verified your order, we're all good, now let's get you that 100% off promo code. If it still does not work, they're gonna get this message right here that says, sorry, we couldn't verify, that order matches any Amazon order we've gotten, you're a liar, get out of here, get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. No. Um, so it's really, really nice. We're just calm. We're saying, hey, once you've placed your first order, come back here and get your free gift. And obviously, all of this text is modifiable and editable. So for your messenger bot, if you wanted to say something completely different, that is possible, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, so we verified the order. Now it's time to give them their 100% free gift. So now that they've clicked yes, like get promo code, um, we're gonna tag them as claimed Amazon free gift because now they're about to get their promo code. So now is the time when we're like, you know, we've marked them um, that, that they can't go through this again, right? And so, by the way, that order verification process um, is, how, um, is how we prevent people from sharing it. So if people wanted to share it with their uh, with their friend, they and they say, "Hey, use my order ID to and use this." It's it wouldn't work because um, once the order ID is used, then it won't work again. So only unique order IDs. Anyway, so um, they say yes. Get promo code. It comes over here. Um, condition again hits them saying, um, "Have they been given a free coupon code with that user?" does that user have this custom field showing that they've gotten the coupon code? Um, if, if it does have a, uh, you know, they've already gotten a promo code, promo code and, and that is there, then it's gonna say, sorry, you've already taken advantage of this promotion. If there is no value set to that custom field, you know, it, it's complex and so 
I don't want to bore you with all the small technical details, but basically if they've not gotten the promo code, then they're going to get received this message right here. So again, that's another fail safe that happens. Um, and then they're going to get this message right here that says, here is your 100% off promo code. We put the promo code in its own little message. So they can easily, if they're on their cell phone, they can just push their thumb on it. Um, and then it'll copy the entire promo code. Cause it's a crazy little code. It's not like easy to remember. It's like E H F V eight five four. You know, it's, it's a weird little code that um, we created 3000 of these unique codes. And that is a whole nother process. Maybe I should talk about that. We created this, you know, this Google sheet with 3000 codes in it on every line. And that's another thing that happens right here is that many chat through an API call will go and pull one of those lines from the Google sheet. And it will then pull that into many chat as a bot field. And then, um, it's crazy. It's hard to explain this, but it'll then put it into their mini chat and then it will move down to the next line so that the next person gets a different code. And then after that code has been used, it'll move to the next line in the Google sheet and grab codes. It's, it's pretty crazy stuff, but this is one of my favorite bots I've ever built. So I'm pretty excited about it anyway. So they get their free code. We tell them, Hey, simply copy that code, then paste it in. Now we are again, linking them to a Shopify site. That's what I personally recommend when you're giving away a free gift is link them over to Shopify. That way you can actually control the fulfillment. So if just in case word gets out or this thing gets abused and people share their friends and then all of a sudden 50,000 free orders come in, you're like, Wait, that doesn't make any sense. So you can, you know, with Shopify, you have the control to not fulfill because you think that some, something has happened, right? With Amazon, Amazon is just going to fulfill, you know, they see orders coming in, they're just going to fulfill the free. So you don't want to do it with Amazon. Plus it would cost you a lot more money to fulfill with Amazon from anyway, moving on. I'm not going to go into that. So anyway, then you link them over to the free gift. And then that is, um, pretty much the, the done part there. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, like I said, we created 3000 promo codes. So if the case happens where this person is 3001 or 3005, they're going to receive this message right here that says, sorry, there are no more codes left. So, um, I, you know, I check on this regularly. You can see here, 583 codes have been sent. So we're well within 3000. We've got a good amount of time until we hit that 3000 number, but around the 2000 mark, I'll go into that sheet and I'll add in a whole bunch more promo codes just to make sure that we don't, nobody gets this message, right? Cause people would be pretty mad if they saw, sorry, there's no more codes left, right? Anyway, after all that happens and they get their free code, then a seven minute delay is going to happen right here. And then we're going to just nicely and politely ask them for a review. So, with this whole order, you can do it in, you know, switch swapped. You can ask for the review first, then verify their order, then give them the free gift, or you can give them the free gift first after they've gotten their promo code. Then you can say, Hey, by the way, uh, please be a hundred percent honest. Do you love the products that you ordered from us? Um, if they say, yes, I love it, man, it's all right. Or no, I don't like it. Then they will get one of these messages right here. Now, Full disclosure, this is not so great with uh, Amazon TOS. Amazon doesn't like it when you filter reviews and you ask them, hey, did you like it or did you not like it? And then you, you know, they want you to just ask people for reviews, not try to filter them and say only the good reviews get linked over here and the bad reviews will take care of them. You know, that's not cool. So just full disclosure, this is a little bit gray to say, hey, did you like the product or not? Uh, that's up to you if you want to filter it. Um, but anyway, for the two questions that people are like, meh, it's all right, or they don't really like it. We're basically saying, thank you for sharing your feedback with us. Um, and then we're also notifying the admins on the page. So all the people that are on the page will get a Facebook message saying, Hey, reach out to Susie. Susie just messaged us saying she's not happy. Let's try and make her day better. Um, and then they'll also get an email notification saying that Susie messages the page. Now, as you can see here, 34 people were sent that message like, meh, it's all right. Three people were sent the, no, I don't like it. And then, uh, 382 said, yes, I love it. So that's really good to see, right? Anyway, 
So to the people that say, yes, I love it, then we are sending them this message right here saying, you know, we'd love it if you could leave us a review. Um, what we were doing in the past was we were actually linking them from Messenger to Amazon in the orders section using a Pixelfy link. Uh, it's like a five-star Pixelfy link. It auto-populates five star, a five-star review for them and then they can pretty much just hit submit. Um, you wanna be a little bit careful with that because Amazon can now see the, the link that they're coming from. So if they see that the reviewer came from Messenger, then Amazon may not let those reviews stick because they may be a little bit sketched out by that. So uh, in order to prevent Amazon from seeing that that review came from a Messenger link, we decided to take away that link. And yeah, that does kind of suck because it's cool to just give them a pre-populated five-star review, but they're gonna have to just go in their orders and uh, search it, <laughs> search their order, and then leave us a review. So that's what we have set up here is that it's, it's saying, go ahead and, uh, you know, we'd love for you to leave us a review. Um, go into your Amazon orders, find the order, leave a re review, give us your honest feedback, all that kind of stuff. So um, as you can see, 382 people um, have seen this message, which is great. And then 33% or 128 people have clicked it. So let's just say 100 people have given us reviews. So this flow has given us about 100 reviews on, uh, on products, which I would say is a win. Um, but yeah, so that is basically the entire messenger bot flow. It's pretty complex. You got API calls, you got Google sheet, pulling unique Google promo code or promo codes from Shopify that we put in a Google sheet. Anyway, if you want something like this set up for your Amazon business, I would love to help you out. You can book a call with me again by going to evolvemedia.agency, go to the done for you services page look through all that information, uh, book a call with me, let's chat it up, let's figure out how we can work together. If you're wanting to learn more about running Facebook ads or Messenger bots, then I've got a free course that you can go get access to by going to freebosslifestyle.com. Um, a lot of huge amount of value in that free course. I just add to it and add to it and add to it over time. And so there's a ton of information as well as like free downloads, like PDF downloads and templates for click funnels and free templates for messenger bots, all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value, again, click the thumbs up button, leave a comment below if you have any questions for me. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and watching my videos. So I'll catch you in the next one.